one of the things I wanted to talk about is how I, how I choreograph. And I, I look at the stage as if it's a canvas. I consider myself really a visual artist, that I look at the rectangle. It's not more of a square, but it's a rectangle. The stage is kind of like that, when we're dealing with a proscenium uh, stage, which this is. And um, how, how the dancers are moving in space, I almost, it's just looking from above to below and watching the patterns. That's really, really important to me. That's why I also like to watch dance from uh, looking down at it so that you can see the patterns of the dance rather than straight on. Personally, I, I love that. Um, that's really more important to me in some ways than the shapes that are created for the dancers to work with. I know to other choreographers, the shapes are m way more important. To me, the use of space, where they're going in space, that's critical. It's like watching the um, ebb and flow of a painting and looking at where center is instead of being in center and being so symmetrical, playing with the off centers and the on centers and when symmetry works and when symmetry works off center, when it works in the center. So these are the things that we explore as particularly dancers now and choreographers is to, to find the tension and create the tension on stage and then the resolution of how you use the stage space. Doris Humphreys, our great choreographer, uh, wrote a book called The Art of Making Dances and she speaks a great deal about how we're influenced by the way the, um, the perspectives are and how the angles come and intersect and why center is so important and why if you just do everything on center, it gets kind of boring. So these are things to kind of watch for. Now this is a piece that was brought to me by, uh, he's a local co uh, composer, Patrick Moraz. We're going to do this piece now, third piece. Let's see how this one goes. <laughs> 